Hey guys, I'm going to do a tutorial on UV mapping in Blender 2.5 Alpha 2. Um, so we're just going to UV map the default cube. Um, UV mapping in Blender 2.5 is virtually the same as in 2.4x. Um, there is um, a minor difference and we'll cover that. So let's just go into edit mode, tab, and a to deselect all and go down here and go to edge select mode and then I'm gonna click that turn that off so I can see through cube and I'm gonna select these faces I'm just holding down shift and right clicking on the individual faces and then I'm gonna hit control E and go down to mark seam and then if I hit A to deselect all then you can see that those edges are now red so I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go out of edit mode and um, now we're gonna split the view and have a UV image editor on one side so in Blender 2.5 to split the view you click up here you click and drag on this striped area and it splits it and if you wanna join it then you click on here and drag it this way if you drag it yeah you can sl close it that way or that way so I'll open my window back up and I'll click here, change it to UV slash image editor, and I go back into edit mode and A to select all, U unwrap. So now we have our unwrapped cube. I'm going to hit G and Y to grab it on the Y axis and hold control so it snaps to the grid. Just move it right there so it looks better. And so now I'm going to click new. So it creates a new image and zooms you in, so I'm going to zoom out. And now I'm just going to turn on image painting and hit N to open up the toolbar. Give it a nice red color, turn the strength up. I'll hit N to hide that again. And I'm just going to draw numbers. 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So that's 6. That's all, all 6 faces. So we don't need UV mapping anymore, UV image editor anymore, so let's snap that back over. And we can go out of edit mode, and if we want to see what it's going to look like, then we go down here, change it from solid view to textured view, and now we can see it. But if, um, if we render it, I just hit 0 on the numpad here to go into camera view, F12 to render it, and then it just shows the cube without any texture on it. So let's hit escape, and in Blender 2.5 Alpha, you have to add a texture which has that image. I don't know why they changed that, but so you click Image or Movie, and let's select the untitled image we created. You can see it up here, and you have to go down here and change coordinate to UV, so that way it uses the UV settings that we used that we created to map it to the cube. So it should be 1 here, 5 here, and 4 here when we render it. And yes, it's working good. And the 1's not showing up because of the lighting. Uh, I'll just shift, T, shift D, duplicate. Now we can see our UV mapped cube. And um, so this is just a very simple UV mapping test. If you want to do more advanced, then in your UV image editor, you could um oops gotta select untitled tab okay so then you would go to UVs export UV layout and it would export it to SVG format which you could then load into GIMP and edit it or you could load it into Inkscape and export it as a bitmap image um, that way you can get a lot more features when you draw on your image. But anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.